What is up guys, it's and today we are doing heavy deficit deadlifts. Hoping to work up something in the 635, 650-ish range. We'll see how that goes though. If all of that goes well, I might do some Atlas Stone shouldering, maybe even try that 350 today. Again, we'll see. But it's time to find out, so let's go get after it. What is up guys? Welcome to the commentary and thank you for joining me for my maximum effort lower day where the variation is the deficit deadlift. Now unfortunately I am broadcasting to you guys in a decent amount of pain because I actually hurt my back on my last rep here during this workout. Now if you guys have been following my training for any amount of time you'll know that I have a big history with back problems. So these things happen from time to time and it really isn't that big of a deal. Just hopefully if I do the right things, it won't knock me down too long. For those of you that don't know, I've actually broken my back twice in the past. So when I get little tweaks and things like that, sometimes I get a decent amount of nerve pain as well because of herniated discs and just other dumb problems. Anyway, I've got a little bit of that pain right now, but it's nothing really to care that much about. But as far as what you're actually watching right here, this is 400 pounds, which is kind of my last warm-up set before things get a little more serious in my mind because they do show right around 500 pounds on deficit deadlift. This is where it starts to get a little heavy and little spots show up in front of my eyes after I pick it up. But today it felt really good, so I jumped all the way up to 585. That itself went really well. I didn't know what my next jump was going to be, but I knew that ah, 635 was my old PR. So I obviously wanted to beat that, so I decided to jump up 650, try to hit that nice even number, get as much air into my belly as possible, drop down, squeeze the bar, I start pushing the world, feel a pop in my back right about here. So I knew I heard it, I didn't know how bad. It was kind of one of those times where you kind of hold your breath and hope, and it is definitely hurt, but I don't think it's going to knock me down that long. So after I felt the pop on that last rep, I kind of rolled around the lacrosse ball and stretched out a little bit just to see what was going to happen. And it was like a weird kind of dull nerve pain. And I had wanted to do Atlas Stone the shoulder this day, so I figured why don't you just go ahead, work up a little bit, see how it feels, see where it ends up. So that's what I did. So what you just saw was the 232 pound stone and this is the 260. None of these are really that hard and it's all moving up towards the new 350 pound stone that we just finished up last week. Yeah, as you can see, 260 went fine. Then I jump up 300, which also really isn't that heavy. Not anymore. There was a time it definitely felt like a truck, but now it's just kind of simple. So I decided to pull out the brand new 350 pound stone. It's never even been broken from the ground yet. So I get to my lap and think about it and then try to get drive can't get up high enough try it again there's still a lot of dust on the stone because it's new maybe that's it maybe it's just because i'm not strong enough but i didn't get it pulled high enough to try to drop it on top of my shoulder so after that i moved on to the reverse hyper just to finish up the workout because i don't know how bad my back is hurt but the reverse hyper kind of has a way of decompressing your spine and making things feel a little better when you possibly have something herniated or just seized up in there. I was also doing actual rollouts just for my core, but honestly a lot of this was done between my attempts on the deadlift because at this point what you're watching right here, my back is so shot and quivering and sending weird pain down my left leg that it doesn't really do as much as it's supposed to. But I'm just gonna to try to rebound from this back thing as fast as possible. All right guys, video recap. So the 650 on deficit deadlift is a 15 pound PR. So I'm happy about that. The stone to shoulder did not go well. I actually tweaked my back on the 650 rep. I felt it when it happened. Uh, decent amount of pain, definitely a little bit of nerve pain, so that's not good. We'll see what happens. 350 pound Atlas stone to shoulder definitely did not go too well. But it's the first time I've ever even picked it up, so I'm happy about it. Hopefully my back starts feeling better so that by Wednesday I'll be able to do the log overhead press. Time will tell. Hopefully something heavy. I feel pretty good about it. Anyway guys, I really do appreciate you watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I'll get back to you. Otherwise, I will catch up with you later in the week, hopefully with some good news about my back and maybe even a heavy overhead press. Time will tell, but it's going to be good. We're willing it to be good. Go out, do awesome things, be nice to each other, and I will catch up with you then.